What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I'm bringing you guys an episode of Call of Duty Ghosts 101. In this video, we're going to be comparing the two most powerful equipment in the game, the C4 and the canister bomb, and I'll help you guys determine which one is better for you. I recently did a video like this for the Frag and the Simtex, if you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it down in the description, but you guys requested this video as well, so I figured why not bring you what you want. So we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of different things, vulnerability time, time to detonate, features, throwing range, kill radius, all kinds of stuff to, uh, to kind of see which one's better for you or your certain class or certain game type, or, you know, whatever it may be. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, uh, first up, vulnerability time. This is very important because however long it takes you to throw this thing, you know, the throwing animation is how long you are defenseless. You know, if an enemy comes up on you when you're throwing one of these equipment, you're obviously going to die because you don't have a weapon up. You can't do anything to protect yourself. So uh, for the C4, it's 1.5 seconds, which is the exact same as the frag in the Simtex. That's pretty fast. It's not the best in the world, but, but it's not the worst either. So the C4 isn't too bad. For the canister bomb, it's awful. It's 2.6 seconds from the point that when you press that button to throw this thing until when you can shoot again, which is very, very, very slow. That's a really long time in Call of Duty. Call of Duty is so fast-paced, 2.6 seconds without being able to defend yourself is really not that good. So you really have to be careful with where you throw this thing and when you throw this thing to make sure you don't put yourself in a bad situation. Now, next up, time to detonate. How long does it take for this thing to blow up and kill an enemy after you throw it? Well, for the C4, it can be any time you want. There's no limit, there's no timer, there's no nothing. You blow it up as quickly or as slowly as you want to, which is obviously very, very good. On the other side of things, for the canister bomb, it takes at least three seconds if you release it immediately. Uh, it's kind of like the Simtex in the fact you can hold it in your hand for as long as you want. So it takes it one second to get it up in your hand, ready to throw, and then after you release it, it takes two seconds for it to blow up after you throw it. So uh, it depends on how long you hold it in your hand for how long it takes for the canister bomb to blow up. Now, uh, next up for features, what are the general features of these two equipment? Well, for the C4, again, you've got remote detonation. You can detonate it via the little C4 clicker, or you can double tap square or X, depending on what console you're on, so that could be pretty useful. And then also, the C4 sticks to things. So this can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing. It's really more about personal preference and what situation you're in. On the other side of things, the canister bomb doesn't stick to things. It bounces and rolls, so you can bounce around corners and through windows and things like that. So, uh, again, those are just kind of personal preference decide which one you like better now uh, moving on to the next thing throwing range both of them are absolutely freaking awful so I was aiming at the same spot when I threw these things looking up at the same degree and everything like that and when I threw it from this gold star the C4 landed here which is absolutely horrible and the canister bomb wasn't much better it actually landed in this red circle right here and then kind of bounced and rolled along to this spot right here if you guys want a comparison this is the Simtex and the Frag. As you can see, they're over double the throwing range, which is uh, which is really important. Like a lot of nade spots and stuff require you to throw these things pretty far. So keep that in mind when you're using the C4 and the canister bomb. You aren't going to be able to hit many of those. The enemies are going to have to be pretty close to you for you to be able to uh, to get these things, you know, in their radius. Unless you have strong armor on. Like if you're planning on using a lot of the C4, or a lot of the canister bomb, strong arm is definitely a good perk that you may want to look into using. Now, uh, finally kill radius. This is where they make up for that really, really bad throwing range. So the kill radius is huge. It's really good. So check it out here. The biggest kill radius is the canister bomb. As you can see right here, it takes up most of the street. Uh, next to that is the C4. It's slightly smaller, you know, maybe 15 to 20% smaller, but not all that much. And then finally, if we compare these two to the frag and the Simtex, that's here. So as you can see, the canister bomb just absolutely blows the frag and the Simtex away. It's probably like 35 to 40% bigger. So uh, both the C4 and the canister bomb are very, very powerful. You aren't going to get very many hit markers with them. If you get them in range of an enemy, it's most likely going to kill them. So uh, there you guys have it. That's kind of the comparison of the C4 and the canister bomb with the frag and the Simtex. Uh, the C4 and canister bomb are a little bit more uh, kind of specialty weapons, especially the canister bomb. Like I really like the canister bomb. I keep them on some of my classes for opening domination rushes. Like I'll rush up and you know throw them on beat on, particularly on whiteout. It works really well in whiteout in that cave. And, and you can get quite a few kills in that way. But, but if I'm not playing Domination, then I never really use these things because it takes way too long to throw them and you can't throw them far enough. I, just, I don't see the use for it. It's more of a hindrance than anything and I find myself dying a lot while I'm priming them and getting ready to throw them. So it's just, uh, those are a lot of work to use. They're a really specialty thing for the C4. I think it's a little bit more kind of all-purpose. I do think it's really good on rushing classes and things like that to be able to quickly throw it up in a window or throw it around a corner, you know, things like that. But, but overall, I think for me, 
the more practical equipment would be to use the frag and the simtex but but that's just me it, it, it's all in your personal preference i just want to give you guys the facts and, and how these equipment acted so uh, let me know what you guys think what do you like the best out of these four explosives the frag the simtex the c4 or the canister bomb and why leave a comment down below i'd be interested to see what you guys have to say and thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it i'll catch you all later check out the other two videos if you haven't seen yet and thank you guys so much for watching peace out